Hey there, welcome to the introduction video for this C++ game development series. This video is just to give you an overview of the contents and to show you what you can expect to create by the end of this series. As you would have guessed from the title of this video, we will be creating a 2D snake game using C++ and SFML. So if you don't know C++, I will not recommend you to follow this series. I say this because throughout this series, I will be using STL containers, shared pointers, unique pointers and all that good stuff from modern C++. Coming to SFML, SFML is just a nice and simple multimedia library. Using this library, you can create windows, draw text, sprites, play audio and much more. Knowledge of SFML is not really needed before you start this series, but it would be really helpful if you try to read the official reference document as we progress. So if you feel you are fit for this series, then let's talk about what we'll be creating. Our main goal for this series will be to create a clone of the classic 2D snake game. The objective of player in this game will be to control and navigate the snake to eat as many food as possible without hitting the walls or its own body. But we will not restrict ourselves just with the gameplay. We will also create a main menu from where player can choose to start the game or exit the game. We will also create a game over menu which will give users an option to restart the game. And to top this all, we'll also implement the functionality to pause and start the game. So if you are interested, head over to the next video where I'll walk you through the initial development setup.